for the second race. Number one is Fox Valley Bay, owned by Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman, trained and driven by Andy Patterson, coupled in the wagering 1A, Fox Valley Vamp, owned by Fox Valley Standard Breads, trained also by Patterson. The driver is C.J. Robinson. Number two, the show must go on, owned by Julie Simpson, by Taylor and Pollard, trained and driven by Dirk Simpson. Number three, Bout Precious, owned by Diana Bergen and Tamara Knight of Alney, Illinois, and Evansville, Indiana, trained by Diana Bergen. Buzz Graham, Tom Jr. is up. Number four, Lady Mandy Lynn B., owned and trained by Mike Rogers of Loami, Tim Curtin in the bike. Number five, she's taken command, owned by Kennedy Lindsay of Centerville, Tennessee, trained and driven by Stacy DeRoos. And number seven is Classy Lee Bett, owned by Leroy and Betty Moore of Ellery, trained by Leroy Moore. Dave McGee is up. Here they come. And they're off. Lady Mandy Lynn B. gets the early lead. There goes Bout Precious, but she's off stride. Bout Precious on a break, now drops back several spots through the field all the way out to last. Lady Mandy Lynn B. leads it by two after the first eighth of a mile. Then the show must go on a second by two and a half. She's taken command, moves over next to the rail in third. Then Classy Lee Bet moves up. She's parked and going toward the front. She cannot find a spot on the rail. And Classy Lee Bet at the quarter mile mark is up to get the lead by a head off the open and quarter and 29 and 4. Classy Lee Bet leads it by almost a full length. Lady Mandy Lynn B is second. The show must go on is third. Then she's taken command is next, followed by Fox Valley Vamp, who travels a close-up fifth. There goes the show must go on. Now she's out and moving from third. Further back, there's a gap of eight lengths before we come to Fox Valley Babe and Bout Precious, who is the trailer. Approaching the half-mile mark, as they move that direction, now the show must go on, gets the lead by a length and a quarter. Classy Lee Bet is second, then Lady Mandy Lynn B off the half in 59 and three-fifths seconds. Fox Valley Vamp is next, a gap of two more to Bount Precious, who moves up a couple of spots around the far turn, but is still six lengths off the lead. Gap of three more lengths to Fox Valley Babe, and she's taken command, is now the trailer. At the three-quarter mile mark, the show must go on, leads it, and then Classy Lee Bet is second, and here comes a move from Fox Valley Vamp. She's third up on the outside as they go to the three-quarter in a time of one minute, 30, and four-fifth seconds. Turning for home, the show must go on, leads it a length and a half. Classy Lee Bet is second ahead, then Fox Valley Vamp, followed by Bout Precious, and Bout Precious has made up a lot of ground. She's still three lengths off the lead, and fourth, however, they still have the show must go on to get, but Classy Lee Bet is up alongside the leader on the outside, and Classy Lee Bat is forging to a narrow lead. The show must go on second, and then Bout Precious third. Classy Lee Bat draws clear. Classy Lee Bat by a full length wins it on the line. The show must go on with second, and Bout Precious third in one minute 59 and four fifth seconds. In the second race, number seven, Classy Lee Bet was first. Number two, The Show Must Go On was second. Number three, Bout Precious finished third. And part of the entry was fourth. So on the board, it reads seven, two, three, one. Second unofficial. race results official. Moving into the winner's circle, here is the winner, number seven, Classy Lee Bet with Dave McGee driving. And a shout of, yeah, Leroy comes from the grandstand for co-owner Leroy Moore. Leroy and Betty Moore of Ellery, Illinois, are both the owners and breeders of the winning Happy Wizard filly. Trained by Leroy Moore, Dave McGee has the winning drive and puts this filly in the two-minute, two-year-old list in 159 and four.